we are going to perform a brake test. The first thing we are going to do is perform a safe start. I'm gonna check my buttons and make sure that they are pulled and also make sure that the truck is in neutral. Now I'm gonna perform the safe start. I'm gonna make sure that the ABS light comes on. ABS light on, ABS light off, end of trailer ABS off. Now I'm gonna perform a safe start. We are gonna build air to the governor cutoff at 120 PSI to 140 PSI. The governor cutoff came on about approximately 125 PSI. Now we are going to perform an air leakage test. We're gonna turn the key off. We're gonna turn the key back onto the auxiliary position and place the truck into low gear. Now we are gonna release the brakes and wait till the needles settle. Now that the needles have settled, we're gonna apply our parking brake for one minute and we should not lose more than four PSI during that one minute. And you press your brake pedal, you hold it, you read the PSI to the examiner. We are approximately 95 PSI. Our one minute is up. We did not lose more than four PSI during our one minute. We lost zero pounds. Now I'm going to perform a low air warning light test. I will pump the brake pedal until the warning lights come on should come on approximately 55 to 60 PSI. The warning lights came on at approximately 55 PSI. Now we are going to perform an emergency brake test. I will continue to pump the brakes until the valves pop out the tractor should pop out approximately 20 PSI, the trailer should pop out approximately 40 PSI, or the valves will pop out at the same time. The trailer popped out approximately 25 PSI, and the tractor popped out at 20 PSI. Now I'm going to build my air to the governor cutoff and we are going to perform a parking brake and a trailer brake test. So we are going to perform a parking brake test. We're going to release our trailer brake and we're going to tug. parking brake is working and holding properly. Now we are going to perform a trailer brake test. We are going to pull our red knob and we are going to push our yellow knob. Let the clutch out real slow. The parking brake is working properly. There is no play between our kingpin and our locking jaw. Now we are going to perform a service brake test. Is what we are going to do. We are going to roll forward about five miles an hour, and then we're going to make sure that the steering wheel or truck does not pull from side to side when we apply the brakes. First thing we're going to do is put the truck into a low gear. Let the truck let the clutch out slowly, and simulate five miles an hour. And our service brake is completed and this truck did not move from side to side.